question. But suddenly they turn things around and they've escaped the bottom three. One man who has had rather a lot of experience in this type of battle for survival is a certain Neil Redfern. He's been there, he's seen it, he's even had the name taken off the back of his shirt. So does Neil think they're going down? Good morning, Neil. Are you going down? Good morning. No, no, there's no way hey. I'm going down. Hey. Neil morning, Redfern. Neil. Morning. So. Yeah. Um, the recent battle. Yeah. Turn the corner, out of the bottom three, no way Jose going down. No, the lads have put a great run together, you know, um, we've, we've been battling for this sort of, uh, you know, scenario to get ourselves in a position where we can get out of trouble all season. Um, you know, we've been playing better than actually the results have suggested. Yeah. Um, and the run's coming at a good time. Sadly though, since you've had your run, so Southampton have been doing all right, haven't they? And so have Coventry and all the teams around you. They were, apart from Forrest, who... <laughs> <laughs> apart from Forrest, everyone seems to be doing all right down there. It's still a great battle down there, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's generally the case. You know, it's par for the course. The, the, the sides at the bottom are desperate to do well and they start picking results up. But um, we, we can't really worry about what other people are doing. We've got to make sure that we uh, concentrate on our own results. Now, when you joined Charlton, did... Um... <laughs> Did the phrase once bitten, twice shy not come into it at all? Yeah, that's right. I've gone through that um, a few times with different people, you know, suggesting that, uh, that that was the case. But to be honest with you, you know, I always felt that, uh, that Charlton would perhaps go about it a bit differently and, um, you know, had uh, a good chance of staying up. Like, as we've said, the last few weeks, the season seems to have changed around a bit. Before, Alan Kirbishley was talking about luck a lot, that little bit of luck that you sometimes need. Yeah, um, that, that, that's right. I mean, you're starting to get that. I'm not saying that, you know, Charlton's season is turning around due to luck, because it's hard work as well. But, you know, unfortunate time. You, what was it you drew against Arsenal and you should have won that game? Yeah, we, we, yeah. We, we've had no luck whatsoever, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear the luck outside the door? We've had no luck whatsoever, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, the, the results we've been getting have been, have been very disappointing because we've been playing well. And um, we've just started to turn it around and we've been... Uh, We've been really up for it. What's happening? Is that, the, is that your teammates? That's the lads trying to get in. Are you <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, talking of luck, OK, Alan Kirby, she's won Marriage of the Month. All the Charlton fans in the office going, oh, no, kiss of death. Yeah, that's right. He's, he's done ever so well, to be fair. He's deserved it because, we, you know, like you say, we haven't had no luck. And um, he's, he's kept the lads' heads up and he's kept us going. Um, and it's nice to get that award. <laughs> now, you've not been sacked from penalties, have you? Apparently not, no. Yeah. That's right. I read that in the paper. Did, was, it a miss, was it a miss or a great save? A bit of both, to be honest. Right. Everybody misses one now and again, don't they? That's right. We'll let you off for that. That's right. it's, it's written here, I haven't heard any of these. I think it's uh, Candy, make it up again. There's lots of rumours that you're leaving Charlton because you want to go back up north. Is this true? Um. Well, I've, I've obviously had uh, one or two discussions with the gaffer, and uh, I've got my problems, you know, down here. Um, just, you know, through his family being, you know, unable to settle and that. But we, we've yeah. started to come to terms with everything, and you know, obviously, while I'm playing for Charlton, I want Charlton to do well. Cool. Okay. Well, as I, I've, I said all season, when you came down to Stamford Bridge, I thought you were a great team. You know, I thought you played really well down mm. there. So I think you're too good to go down. But then, hey, so are all the teams. <laughs> Classic <laughs> six-pointer against Coventry today, isn't it? Without a doubt, yeah, that's right. And, you know, the weather's making, you know, for it, uh, to be a typically good British football game. You know, it's, Great snowing, like, it's snowing like mad here, you know, which, uh, yeah. which is our type of surface. And um, <laughs> obviously, it's, it's a big game for the lads, and, you know, we're, we're desperate to do well. Excellent. Excellent. Cheers. Well, good luck. Good luck. I hope you stay up, because, as I say, you play yeah. well. Everyone, Neil Riffer. Cheers. Thanks a lot.